All right, what's going on, my friends? James Kim back again. I'm with Red Door Realty NY, and I specialize in selling commercial investment real estate properties. Uh, in my last IGTV video, which if you haven't seen that, was uh, recorded last night, I mentioned uh, that it was about uh, the five reasons why commercial real estate agents fail. Um, I mentioned that one of the reasons why commercial real estate agents fail is you have no social media presence. You don't use any social media to market your properties that you are selling. Uh, and you're just missing out on uh, quite a bit of a, of a potential audience of potential investors, potential buyers, potential tenants of your properties that you're listing for sale. You're missing out and it's free. Uh, so you can't beat free and you can't beat the uh, just the wide array of potential uh, clients that you could uh, interact with on social media and since it's online um, and it's something that you can basically do from anywhere uh, basically it'll just run for you in the background marketing your business marketing your properties marketing your capabilities as a commercial real estate agent in whatever type of specialty that you do for example I specialize in selling commercial investment properties so these are properties that uh, perhaps they're multifamily apartment complexes, or retail shopping centers, or office parks, or vacant land. It's something that could potentially be uh, redeveloped, uh, adaptive, reused, um, or basically um, turned into uh, in a revenue-producing property because of the tenants that are paying rent each month, and then that rent gets put into the bank account of the owner of that building. So uh, these are opportunities that can help potential investors to grow their money. And that's the niche of commercial real estate that I decided to specialize in. And I use social media um, greatly. It's one of my favorite platforms to market my business, to interact with various investors, and to connect and grow my business. So I want to share with you just a couple of uh, social media marketing tips for commercial real estate agents. Um, a lot of people ask me, well, what, what sort of social media channels should I have uh, as a commercial real estate agent? And I made a list of your basic top seven uh, social media channels that you should have a presence on. You should have an account and you should be posting regular commercial real estate type of content. Um, on these social media channels. Uh, the first, of course, obviously is uh, one of the most popular in the world. You know where I'm going with this, uh, Facebook. Um, you definitely have to have a personal Facebook page as well as a uh, business page for your commercial real estate business. And the reason why you want to do this is uh, Facebook allows you to just post various types of content from videos. Maybe you take videos of your properties that you're selling to uh, things like inspirational memes and pictures and what makes those so useful is you can actually create a inspirational meme. These are these are always popular and uh, regularly shared, but don't just uh, just grab something from the net and and then post that up and share it. That's the lazy brokers way of doing social media on uh, as a commercial real estate agent. What you want to do is you want to uh, research some inspirational saying and then take that saying or come up with your own. And then you want to use a program like Snappa, which is a program that I use to make memes. Uh, I'll include a link to check out uh, the free program Snappa to make your own memes. But I use this program, Snappa, which is S-N-A-P-P-A, -A, uh, to create my memes. And what I do is uh, I take the inspirational quote, paste it into the pre-made for you design, and then I add something like my website URL or my social media handle. That way, when people share that inspirational meme on Facebook or whatever social media channel that I post it on, that meme will have my website or my social media handle so that people can look me up, research my commercial real estate business, and decide whether they want to work with me. And that's just running in the background 24-7. And you know, the more of these things that you post up, uh, the more that your... Um, that it's advertising for you, for your business, which is then automating lead generation. Your phone will be ringing and you'll have uh, clients asking you to come and list their property. Okay, next, uh, you definitely want to uh, leverage 
videos. So you need to have uh, YouTube. Um, obviously, you, you can use Facebook Live or, in this case, IGTV, which is Instagram's uh, basic recorded uh, video channel that they have on Instagram. Uh, you want to be able to record uh, videos maybe of properties that you're listing. Maybe you can do a, a walkthrough, whether you want to do something just uh, live streamed or you want to make something a little more professional, uh, something edited so that it's almost like a virtual tour of that property. That way people, wherever they are, don't have to spend a lot of time maybe arranging a showing if you have a good video that will show them uh, what that property is like and then they can make that decision whether or not they want to purchase it. Okay, so you definitely want to have videos and using uh, things like IGTV. Uh, next, you want to be on other social media channels, which include uh, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, the aforementioned YouTube, Google+, and LinkedIn. And one other optional one is Snapchat, which I don't personally use myself. However, I know it's a very popular uh, video social media channel. And again, that's an opportunity for you to uh, post videos of your properties that you're selling to get that in front of more potential buyers to help you close that deal faster. So there you go, just some social media tips. I hope this helps you as a commercial real estate agent. Again, if you have no social media presence, uh, but you consider yourself a real commercial real estate agent, well, you're not really a real commercial real estate agent. So get on all these social media platforms at the very least, get on Facebook, uh, get on LinkedIn, and uh, get on YouTube and start posting videos of these properties that you're selling. In fact, uh, let's see a property that you are selling. So uh, if you are using IGTV, then you can go ahead and maybe do a property tour of a commercial real estate property that you are selling, and then feel free to tag me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at James underscore Jim underscore Kim, and... Let's start getting your video uh, walkthroughs of your commercial properties posted up on all these various social media channels so that people worldwide can check out your properties and decide whether or not they want to invest in it. It doesn't just have to be some sort of a local business owner, and it most likely won't be. It, you want something new. You want something uh, with you want someone with fresh ideas, uh, with a new vision, with uh, a new way of doing business. Uh, you want to reach as many of these potential uh, investors and clients and business owners as possible as you're selling your commercial real estate properties. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Once again, I am James K. Kim with Red Door Realty NY. Thanks. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.